Hi everyone. My name is Sonal Sharma and I am working as functional consultant with BISP Solutions. In today's uh, video in the series of arts application, we are going to learn how to import pre-mapped balances through EPM Automate. For that, we need to uh, go to first application. Okay, uh, here I am going to upload the balances for a period of July. Okay, so I have to check once that whether the July period is open or not. Yes, it is. And I'm going to uh, provide the balances in the profiles for July. Okay, so I am just selecting it here just for the point of, you know, setting it. Okay, so let's just have a look. Okay, so these are the profiles. As you can see, there are no balances in the source system or subsystem. I am going to provide the balances for uh, from this for the series of 15 up to 21. Okay, this is uh, what I am going to upload through this. So let's just uh, start. This is these are the you know uh, profiles you can see they have no balances here so I am going to provide the balances through EPM Automat here okay so let's start with it okay so I just created some of the commands here this is the series of the commands first we need to encrypt our password secondly we need to log in through the URL and the ID and the password the third thing we need to upload the balances the balance file for the source system and the fourth thing is we need to uh, you know import that pre mapped balances file which we uploaded before the next thing is again we need to upload the balance file for subsystem and need to uh, import it into the uh, pre mapped balances subsystem okay so this uh, these are the uh, basically commands you can find these commands in the oracle documentations uh, as account reconciliation command section for epm automate okay so let's just start i am going to start it okay so the first thing I am going to do is I am going to encrypt the password. You know the process of it, first of all. So encryption completed successfully. The second thing I need to do is I need to log in through URL, ID, and the encrypted password. At the place of encrypted fast password, I am using this key. For the username, I am using the username for uh, the you know uh, application login. As you can see here, this is the URL for it. So I am just uh, copying it and then pasting it here. Let's see. Okay, so the login is successful here. Now, the next thing I need to do is I need to... Uh, okay, so this is how I uh, need to upload the balance file, okay? So here, uh, what command I am using is call EPM automate upload. And this is the location of the profile uh, file. Okay. So I'm copying this and pasting it here. So it is under process right now. And this is 100% completed. Upload file completed successfully. Okay. Then now next what I am doing is I am importing the pre-map balances as this file is uploaded. But it is under, you know, somewhere in the server. So how we, I am going to take it into application. So what I need to do is I need to call EPM Automate import pre map balances for the period. I need to define the period here, the name of the file which I uploaded. And uh, this is SRC is the source system and the functional is my currency bucket. So I am going to paste it here. This is how I am importing the PMAP balances. It is taking a bit time. It is uh, successfully completed as you can see. Now moving to the next part is now I am going to provide the balances for subsystem. So again, I am just uh, you know uploading the file through the location. I'm copying it and pasting it. 
So this is how I upload the file for um, the balances of subsystem. This is completed successfully. Now I am importing uh, the subsystem balances for July period. Okay, as you can see, this is called EPM Automate Import Payment Balances. July 22 is my period and the file name which I imported and this SUB is subsystem and this is functional currency bucket. Okay, so let's see how it is going to be done. So this is uh, this import pre-mapped balances for subsystem is completed successfully, okay? So this is how we uh, had given the commands through EPM Automate. Now let's uh, go to the application and we'll see that how these, uh, you know, these are the balances, whether uploaded successfully or not, okay? So I'm refreshing or somehow you can see I am reloading my application so that I can be able to see the balances here. Okay. So now I'm moving to the profile section. And uh, I have selected the July period. And now I am selecting the profiles here. See, these are uh, the, you know, you can see the balances, the name of the Okay, this is uh, the 16, 17, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. These are the profiles as I had mentioned. Okay, and 20 and 21, these two profiles are there. So these are the profiles where I am putting the balances. As you can see, this is source system balance as this is subsystem balance. You can see even the differences in the source system and subsystem which you are going to reconcile. Okay, these are the files I mentioned here. Uh, which I uploaded, okay, which are successfully, uh, you know, these are the profile balances we are uploaded or imported through EPM Automate. So um, this is the ultimate, uh, you know, you can uh, configure it from here. You can confirm it from here that whether your balances are in the source system and subsystem in the application to the right profile account ID is placed or not. So this can be done through EPM Automate. I hope uh, this is helpful for you. Thank you.